So how can we turn this into into this. Well, let me show you step by step. But to start with, this is the Meta Tactical Glock 19 conversion kit. It's called their Apex series. Before we get into it, Meta Tactical did send this out to the channel for review and to give an overview of it. You can actually get this for, they have a bunch of different guns. The one I got it for is the Glock 19. You can also get it for like a Glock 45. You can get it for even like a Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0. But all this is, is this is a modular chassis that you can deck out with all the cool stuff like you see I did here. And yeah, I threw a carry handle on it because why not? And then the other thing the kit comes with is this clown of a barrel. It's a 16 inch barrel that goes on your Glock. If you ever saw the old Batman movie with the Joker pulling the long gun out to shoot. Yeah, this is exactly that. But kind of taking this apart, it does come with, we have a muzzle device on the end here. So we can remove that first. And then we can take our Glock apart, move the spring. And then here is that super long barrel that again comes with it. To go back to normal Glock mode, I guess, here's our normal barrel that goes in it. We can feed that back in, grab our spring, drop that in, and then grab our Glock frame. And now we have a normal Glock 19. So if anyone has like a extra Glock laying around, I know it must be nice having extra guns laying around. Or maybe you picked up a cheap used one from a friend or at a gun store and you want to make it kind of cool or do something different with it. This is definitely a cool option, turning it into this bullpup PCC nine millimeter gun. So I'm going to do the reverse here. Let's get it back to fun mode here. We're going to take our gun back apart. We're going to remove the spring. We're going to remove the barrel, insert that 16 inch barrel grab our spring, insert that back in, grab our frame, reinsert that as well. And then from here, the chassis opens pretty easily. Right now it's clicked into place. You have this little button here on the side. You can push this, it'll slide out. And that's actually what goes on the trigger here. And it's connected to the trigger. That's how it shoots. And then you have this button here on the bottom. You can push this to open the rear end. And then once the rear ends open, all you have to do is carefully slide this through. There's a couple things you got to avoid in there, but should just drop down in for the most part. Oh, one other thing to note, I do have suppressor height sights on this slide. That's not an issue, but if you did have like an optic on the slide here, you need to remove that in order to insert it into the chassis. From there, go ahead and lock that back over. It's locked into place. And then you can take this pin, push it across, and now it's all set up. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go over the features of it and show you how it works. Once you have it in the chassis here, you have several things you can do. One is you do have an adjustable rear base plate or butt plate here at the end. So this is actually pretty nice and I do like to run this at about this spot right here. But another reason why you need to run that open is because on this side here, when the mag's empty, the slide will lock back like a normal firearm. But when you insert your new mag, you're gonna need to push the slide release here on your Glock, physically on your Glock, in order to throw that slide back forward or the other option and I think it's pretty cool is you do have an ambidextrous charging handle here for both sides so if you want you could give that a little tug and that would actuate your slide back forward too moving through this you do have a little button right here carved out into the frame and this is your mag release so when you have a mag inserted if you want to drop the mag all you have to do is push that spot there it should free fall out because again this is just our Glock right there in it so as long as that mag will work in your Glock, it'll work with this chassis. You have a top rail up here to mount anything you want. Like I did the carry handle with this mounted. I wanted this to look like a Halo battle rifle. I think I did a pretty okay job at that. But if you wanted to make this more practical, um, these are the apex sights from Meta Tactical. I put one in the front. There is a rear one you could put on. And then also I just threw a Hollow Sun 510C up top, but you could just put this right on the uh, Picatinny mount on the top and that'd probably be a lot more practical to be honest, but I'm all about the vibes. Other things I would recommend picking up is they have this mag holder at the end and it's to hold a extra magazine. So if we have our mag in our gun here on the rear and then we have the spare mag here, as soon as we're empty here, we can drop that mag, pull this mag out, insert, hit the slide release, and we're back in action. So I definitely recommend if you're thinking about picking one of these up, grab this extra mag piece here. So that way you can hold a mag in the front as well. Other things is they do have these additional 1913 pick rails that you can pick up from them. And I did that. And I do have the, uh, this is a stream light. What is this? A TLR8. It's a laser light combo. We shoot it over here. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's like a laser light combo. And I like this because when you're holding the gun here, you have your grip on it here and my thumb kind of rests right on that. So whenever I want to actuate it, I can just hit it with my thumb or, you know, just keep it to the side here. Pretty easy to use. The other option I forgot to throw back on is the threaded barrel. Now I've seen pictures of this online with people putting uh, suppressors on this. 
you cannot suppress this. At least uh, the ones I've tried, it does not work. The reason being it doesn't work is on any traditional Glock or any barrel that has like a tilt action to it, is you do need to run a booster assembly with the suppressor typically in order to get the slide to actuate the next round into the chamber. But when you add a 16 inch barrel to your Glock, uh, you're kind of eliminating how that would work or how the booster would help. Because when you shoot this, you'll see in the video, this thing just flicks up and down the whole time. So if you had a heavy suppressor on the front, it would not be able to actuate the slide and cycle the next round. So what's the reason why you should pick one of these up? Again, if you have like an extra Glock or MMP 2.0 laying around and you wanna make it a little bit cooler and have a different setup to take to the range, this will definitely suit those needs. Another option this may be good for, and I am not a lawyer by any means, but for my Cali and people that live in those communist states. With all their weird rules in place, I know rifles and ownership of AR-15s is super hard, so check this out for yourself. Again, I'm not a lawyer, but maybe this is something legal in your state that you can just turn your pistol that you have into more of a bullpup rifle type setup, which is definitely a lot more fun to use. Again, not a lawyer. This is definitely a attention getter at the range or with your friends. As soon as you pull this out, everyone's like, oh, Brian, what's that? Because it's such a unique chassis bullpup Glock conversion kit thingamabob. It's just so cool. So for me, this is a range toy for sure. One major thing that differentiates this across other chassis on the market, like you've seen like the, what is it, Roni and all these other ones, is obviously the look of it. I like the look of this a lot better, especially in the FDE in black, the vibes. But one of the major things about it that I didn't see on a lot of the other ones is you actually have a safety built into the chassis. So as you know, your Glock 19, that doesn't have a safety on it, or a lot of the MMP 2.0s, they might have a thumb safety, but a lot of them don't. But but when you drop it into this chassis, you actually do have a selector right here. It pushes through, it'll go to this side, and this is a safety. To demonstrate here, let me go ahead and cock the gun. And right now when it's pushed in from this side, the trigger will not work. I mean, it's dead solid, will not work at all. But then if I go ahead and push that button, push it forward, now I pull the trigger, it will fire then. So pretty cool as far as if you want to treat this maybe as like a truck gun, backpack gun, you can definitely keep around in the chamber turn that safety on, keep this in the bag, and you don't have to worry about something snagging that trigger and going off in your bag while the round's in the chamber. So that's definitely a huge major differentiator when it comes to the Meta Tactical uh, Apex chassis compared to some of the others I've seen on the market. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Meta Tactical chassis. And oh, one other thing here is, like I said, this takes any kind of Glock mag. So I actually have a Chris Vector 9mm mag. You can see that'll insert. So you can actually use your Chris Vector mags, which look kind of cool. And then again, you can insert your, you know, a Men 2 mag on the front, or I have a Glock base plate, a Glock mag with a extended base plate. You can even insert that here and keep that reload whenever you want. I mean, it's just pretty cool. Hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what you think of this.